The Battlefield 2042 team released a Season 5 development update video yesterday, and there were lots of updates and changes discussed. But here are the top 5 that I feel matter most. The future of Battlefield 2042. I feel that this is probably the most important information we got in the update video. The team stated that they are committed to continue work on 2042 beyond Season 5, with more content down the road, and not just abandon it as some rumors have suggested because it happened with Battlefield 5. At the moment, we're unaware what the content will be. It could be the last season, but with a title like New Dawn, I'd expect a couple seasons or at least a year of some type of new content. But we won't fully know until they announce it. One new map. It's called Reclaimed, and it's definitely inspired by Zavod 311 from Battlefield 4. The story here is that it's an abandoned industrial facility in Czechia, and it was engulfed in global conflict 30 years ago, and it was decimated. Now, in 2047, the war has returned to Reclaim the land. Reclaimed. The map name. Not sure anyone cares about the story, but if you do, there you go. So far, the map actually looks destroyed and battle-worn and not perfectly neat and clean like the original 2042 maps. There's a derailed train crash site, a landing zone supply drop area, indoor turbine hall, military warehouse, fortified bunker carved into a mountain, and also a fuel silo area. It seems like it could be a lot of fun. New weapons. They announced three new weapons for Season 5. A sniper called the XC Bar. It's a bolt action with a bullpup design with the magazine behind the trigger, just like the 338 Recon from Battlefield 4. In the trailer, it seems to have a decent ADS speed and will probably be best at short to medium range. The GEW-46 Assault Rifle, which is basically the G36C from Battlefield 4. Seems like a decent weapon at medium range. Finally, the BFP-50 Hand Cannon. It's a Desert Eagle, and it looks like it'll do one-shot headshots, as it should. I hope it sounds powerful and satisfying, and hope it doesn't have a trigger delay, like the 44 Magnum in Battlefield 4. It was not as satisfying as it should have been. There is also an RPG coming to 2042, it just wasn't officially announced in the dev update. New Grenades. There are three new grenades. A Spring Grenade, which lands then bounces into the air before detonating. It could be an interesting item, kind of reminds me of the Bouncing Betty from Call of Duty. There will be an anti-tank grenade which blows up when hitting a vehicle. This could be fun to try and see how far it can be thrown and blowing up a helicopter mid-air, kind of like the trailer. Lastly, we're getting a mini grenade which can be thrown faster and further than regular ones, and we'll be able to carry more of them. Hopefully, they won't become annoying for us infantry players. The Hourglass Map Rework This is the final map to get a rework. They reduced the overall size of the map and have added much more cover along the main areas of combat. They made the overall feel more like a war-torn area, and the village is now a fortified military base. The skyscrapers look more destroyed and actually have fire coming out of them instead of looking clean and untouched like they used to. The bridge has been collapsed with a new underground section added as well. I have to give some respect to the devs for going back in and fixing all the maps instead of just leaving them and adding new ones that fit the vibe of a war-torn future. A bonus mention that will come later in Season 5 is a squad management update. You will be able to finally join specific squads and create new ones. Not sure why it took this long to add that in, but it will be here soon enough. I just want to end and say I always firmly believe that a game developer and publisher should release games when actually finished, as I think that's not a bad nor unpopular expectation nowadays. But I do respect DICE and the Battlefield team for continuing to improve the experience in 2042 instead of just stopping it and throwing it away to move on to the next game. I do hate that they needed audience backlash to add in basic items like the scoreboard and bring back the classic classes, but they showed that they listened to the community and responded, even if it took quite a while. I read this comment on the development update video that says, EA needs Battlefield 2042 year two to build trust in the community so the next Battlefield would actually have good sales. I completely agree with this idea because I feel like we say the same thing on every Battlefield game since like Battlefield 4, that the next game will be better, but it hasn't gotten consistently better. I'd rather them double down and make the game that I paid for good, and hopefully that will translate into the next one. I want EA to let DICE actually finish a game before publishing. Who knows if that will ever happen. Anyways, I've linked the trailer for Season 5 and the development update video in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.